Before we finish working on the interior walls, I do want to show you one additional modifying command, and it's called the trim command. Uh, and let me highlight how the trim command works. So see how here we have like this portion of the line that is crossing between the two lines. So we can actually get rid of just this portion uh, using the trim command. So we can modify it by just stretching it to here and then drawing another line. But I will do undo right now, and I'm just gonna type U and hit the return. And then I'm gonna click return again to repeat the same command. Uh, and from here, I will do trim, which is TR, which you can also find right here. It has like the scissor uh, icon. So I'm gonna click on that. And then the way it works, you can either just click on it or you can click one point and then like this, and it will trim that portion. And I will do the same here. The command stays active. And basically I do wanna click all these additional edges because you will see like down the line, we're gonna use the hatch command to basically fill in all these parts to show like uh, like to, to make the walls like have uh, a hatching essentially. So we, I will trim all of these like this. And then we have a few, so I'll do all of these real quick. One problem you will see when we do the trimming command and we already have dimensions like measuring a few things, you will see like these dimensions actually got messed up and they basically jumped. Uh, this is a problem that happens when you do the trimming. Uh, so basically I'll just erase uh, these ones that I believe got messed up along with this one. And I'll add the dimensions that I need later, but for the most part, I know this layout is so far going well and I will just finish basically the living space and I'll add the hallway and then we will add the uh, the four area right here. So, so here I'm planning to have a hallway that separates like between the sleeping area, the garage and like the main living space. Uh, I will do an offset for it. I will do five inches and then I will add the four area right here, like right by the entry. I think I wanted this to be about like 10 feet maybe. So let's do, I think 10 or I wanted to do 11. I will see, I can we can always modify later. So I will do that and then we will do an offset of five inches and then we will use the trim command and I'll trim this portion. Now I'll do the trim as we go. Uh, so just to make it easier. So we have this and then the next part is I'm gonna have here, uh, I'm just gonna do it extend two extensions like beyond the kitchen. So I'll do like two feet here and then go up by five inches and go back and I'll trim this segment. And then I will extend to the other side and I will also, here I will do two feet and then go up five inches and then close it back and do a quick trim.